Hello, gardeners. It's Anne Malloy here from Neptune's Harvest Organic Fertilizer in Gloucester, Mass. Today I want to give you a brief history of how we got started in the fertilizer business. It all started with my grandfather, who was a fisherman, and he bought the property where we're still located at today in the Fort neighborhood of Gloucester. Gloucester, Massachusetts is the oldest seaport in America, and we have a 400-year-old rich history in the fishing business. So my grandfather bought the property in the late 1920s during the Depression. He called it Progressive Fish Company because the banker told him he was very progressive buying a fish company in the middle of the Depression. He owned and operated it for several years, and then he decided he was also going to start selling fuel oil to the fishing boats. Well, in 1965, my father, Anthony Parco, had a fish business, and the city of Gloucester took that property by eminent domain to put the Coast Guard station there. He spoke to my grandfather, which was his father-in-law, and said, I need to move. Do you have any suggestions of a fish wharf I could buy? My grandfather said, well, you know, I'm making more money selling fuel oil to the fishing boats than I am fish these days, so I'd like to go into the home heating business. So in 1965, my dad, Anthony Parco, along with his brother-in-law, Ed McCullum, purchased my grandfather, Leo Linquata's Wharf, which was Progressive Fish Company, and changed the name to Ocean Crest Seafoods. It is still owned and operated by the Parco and McCullum families and run as a seafood company to this day. So, we unload the fishing boats, we fillet the fish, and we utilize 100% of the fish now by turning the rest into fertilizer. That's how we inadvertently ended up in the fertilizer business. Lucky for us, fish works great for plants and soil. And the reason it works so well is because fish naturally contains all the nutrients plants and soil need. So we've done nothing but grow and expand over the years. How it works is the filet goes to the restaurants. The 60 to 70 percent left over, called gurry, is what we take, grind it up, liquefy it, stabilize it so it won't rot, and then screen it so it won't clog sprayers. And it comes out looking like chocolate milk. So that's how we got started. That's how we make it. And out of 45 employees, 60 in our family, we have Five in our family, plus cousins that are all owners, plus nieces, nephews, and now grandchildren all working here. We take pride in what we do, and we really work hard to bring you quality products that work great on everything. We have a rich family heritage, and we really want to continue for generations to come. Thank you for listening. Please try our products, and as always, call us anytime with any questions that you may have.